from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. A long time Henrico delegate has died and why fewer than 5% of young children in Henrico have received the COVID-19 vaccine. We've got details on those stories and more in today's Henrico News Minute. It's Monday, July 18th, 2022, and it's brought to you today by the law firm of Barnes & Deal. And now for the news. A longtime member of the General Assembly from Henrico County has died. Jack Reed, who served the 72nd District from 1990 to 2008, passed away yesterday. Reed was a Republican. He was recalled yesterday by House Speaker Todd Gilbert, who said, quote, Our Commonwealth is a lesser place today. I came to know Jack Reed as a giant of this body. He believed what he believed and had no qualms about standing up for those beliefs, even if it meant standing alone. And on the odd occasion he made a mistake, he didn't shy away from owning up to it, end quote. And all traffic on I-95 South is clear this morning after construction crews finished up early yesterday on a project to rehabilitate the Scott Road Bridge. It had been struck by a truck last week. The work had been expected to last through this morning's rush hour. It has been nearly a month since children between the ages of six months and five years old became eligible to receive a COVID-19 vaccine, but so far in Henrico, fewer than 900 have done so. It's according to Virginia Department of Health data, which showed as of Friday that only 906 children in that age range, or just more than 4% of that total population in the county, had started the vaccination process. About 36% of those have been vaccinated since July 7th. That's the first day on which the VDH began reporting vaccination totals for that age group. Now, Richmond and Henrico Health District officials had expected that about 20% of the newly eligible children would be vaccinated soon after the June 20th approval came from the federal government, but so far that has not been the case. Those officials also anticipated that most children who did get the vaccine would get it at pediatrician's offices or pharmacies. That also hasn't played out yet. To date, 56% of those Henrico children who have been vaccinated have received their shots at RHHD events. I've got much more coverage of this topic right now on HenricoCitizen.com. You can also read more about why one RHHD official told me that the Moderna vaccine, she believes, is better for children in that age range than the Pfizer vaccine. Well, each month we keep you updated with the latest in dining and restaurant news from around Henrico County in our feature called Plate and Goblet. You can find it right now on HenricoCitizen.com. And in this edition, you can learn about a recently opened rooftop bar in the county, a new Greek restaurant that's opened in the near West End, and a rescheduled 4th of July event coming up later this week. You can also learn about a new deli opening in Lakeside and a Middle Eastern restaurant in the far West End. And we're proud to announce that our managing editor, Patty Krzyzewski, has won a national award in the National Federation of Press Women annual competition. Krzyzewski won a third place award in the specialty articles social issues category for the story she wrote about the efforts of a bereaved mother's campaign to raise awareness about mental health issues and to equip parents and educators with tools to assist youngsters after she lost her own son to suicide. Wrote one judge, this story changed lives, noting that the writing was compelling without being maudlin or preachy. Today's Henrico News Minute has been brought to you by Barnes & Deal. Barnes & Deal has emerged as a highly respected family law firm over the past three decades with the resources, skills, and experience necessary to handle high-asset divorces and other complex family law matters across Virginia. To learn more, visit barnesfamilylaw.com, that's B-A-R-N-E-S, or call 796-1000.